So you might be thinking that the criteria that we went over in a previous lecture about how to pick a good freelancer, you might think that that is not bulletproof. And you might still have a little bit of anxiety around picking someone and giving or escrowing a large amount of money, and you're not even sure whether or not they're going to be able to produce what you want. At first, I say go off of those five criteria I had listed before. That's never going to let you down. But there is one way that you can take this validation to the next step. I call this the $50 test because it costs about $50 or $100. It's a very small amount of money. Now, what you want to do, and this is a tactic that's worked for me many, many, many times. This is actually how I've developed some of my longest lasting contractor relationships is to, once you've whittled down your list down to a very short list, maybe you're talking two or three people or firms, try taking off a very small side task and assigning it to them and then paying them for it. Now, the whole idea behind this is you just want to validate how they actually operate once you are a client. Now, a lot of people are really good at pitching themselves and selling themselves, and a lot of them have really flashy portfolios, but you can never be 100% sure until you actually work with them. Now, if you just pick something really simple, I suggest once you've picked your graphic design, what you can do is you can take that graphic design, and in a lot of cases, it's just going to be an image, like a Photoshop file, or if you bought a template and you have an HTML file, what you can do is you can assign them a very small task. So if it's a Photoshop file, it's just an image, tell them that you want this to be converted into HTML and CSS. That is a relatively cheap task that shouldn't cost you a ton of money. And if you have an HTML template, send it to them and say, I want to change something about it. Try to change something, really anything. Say, you know, changing the width of something or changing the look around something. The point is, is that once you give them a small piece to work with, then you can see how well you actually operate together. Whenever I do this, almost in, invariably, 50% of the people I give this tiny little $100, $50 test to, they end up just failing. All of a sudden, the responsiveness changes. All of a sudden, I notice that there's a much larger gap in our communication than I thought before. A lot, and all of a sudden, I find out that they don't really have the same design sensibilities that I previously had thought they had or what I was implied by looking at their portfolios. <laughs> ¶¶